So what is DaVinci Resolve? DaVinci Resolve is what's known as an NLE, a non-linear editor. And it's an all-in-one solution for your post-production. And what sets DaVinci Resolve apart from other NLEs such as Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro is that DaVinci split up into seven different pages. Each of those pages provides you with a dedicated workspace and dedicated tools for each part of the post-production workflow. So for example, you've got your media page, which allows you to bring your media into DaVinci, organize it, sort it, add your metadata. You've got your cut and edit tabs, which allow you to cut and edit and piece together your, your video. You've got Fusion, which allows you to implement things such as visual effects or motion graphics into your video. You've got the color page, which allows you to color correct, color grade, and even generate LUTs with inside DaVinci. You've got Fairlight, which is your audio mixing page. So you can do your sound effects, your music, your voiceover, sound design, anything like that can be done in Fairlight. And then you've got your deliver page, which allows you to control how and where you export your final video um, from DaVinci. In this video, I'm gonna take you through from downloading DaVinci, installing, then getting it set up with your project libraries, your project library manager, and then into the media page, which will be the first step before you start editing your, your footage. Okay, so if you click through to the link in the description, you'll have blackmagicdesign.com forward slash products forward slash DaVinci Resolve. So here you'll be able to download DaVinci completely free. So if we click in here, you'll be greeted by this screen and you're gonna have DaVinci Resolve 19, DaVinci Resolve Studio 19, DaVinci Resolve 20, and then DaVinci Resolve Studio 20. So basically, you have two versions of DaVinci, DaVinci 19 and DaVinci 20, and you have a free version and a paid version. So if you're just starting out, I'd recommend downloading this one here, DaVinci Resolve 20 Public Beta, and whether if you've got a Mac or Windows, you can, you can download. Uh, you'll have to put in some information like your name, where you live, and then just register and download. The files are by three gigabytes and it'll take about five minutes to download. Okay, so once that's downloaded, you'll unzip the file and open up the installer. And here we have install resolve 20. We can go down, it'll show this, the new key features. So maybe you wanna have a read through, see what's new, see what things are in DaVinci. So the first thing that you're gonna see when you open up DaVinci, you're gonna have your project library manager. And this is where all your project libraries and all your projects are gonna live. So yours will look a bit different to mine. I've already got some project libraries and projects in here, but the best way to describe this is you've got this screen here, which is your full project library manager. So everything you see here is the project library manager. This section on the left are your project libraries. And then within each of these project libraries, you've got your projects. As an analogy, let me just grab these books. So you have got your bookshelf, which is your project library manager. So let's just pretend the project library manager is your bookshelf. Within your bookshelf, <clears throat> you've got your books which are your project libraries. You're gonna have multiple project libraries, different books for different things. So for example, this project library is for YouTube videos. This project library is for Instagram videos. This project library is for client videos. And this project library is for, let's say, uh, travel content like I've got here. And then within each of the, the project libraries, you've got your pages and each page is simply a project. Okay, let's just say we've got our Instagram project library. Within the Instagram project library, we have our projects. So that's each page within the, within the book. And the projects for this one live inside the project library. So every single project that I'm doing for Instagram is a separate project living inside the project library here. So this is what's known as DaVinci's database structure. And it's slightly different to 
the other NLEs such as Final Cut or Premiere Pro, which basically means it keeps everything organized. It allows for more efficiency, so DaVinci can run a bit quicker. And it also means that it can handle much larger projects. So if you've got something like a feature, a feature film or a documentary, you've got thousands and thousands of clips, audio, sound effects, graphics. DaVinci's set up with its database structure to handle large complex projects. Whereas something like Final Cut or Premiere, which has got a file based system, it might start to struggle whenever there is a large number of of files or media within the project. The other thing is because it's centralized, it's very easy to collaborate and work with a team. So you'll see here, you've got network and cloud. So you can actually have your project libraries and your projects sit on the network. So if you've got a remote editor or you've got a team that's you know in other parts of the world, they can easily access the project and they can edit in real time with you to collaborate on a, on a certain piece of work. It's, it's just very useful if you're starting to build out a team or you've got remote editors. Um, that's another advantage of the database structure. What you can do to start a new project is open your project library, let's say for YouTube, and then just select new project. So let's just call it test and then we'll create it. And voila, we have a we have a new project, a blank project within DaVinci. If I want to go back to the project library manager, just press shift one and it'll open up the, the manager. Just quickly, I'll show you you can what you can also do is within this, this is your project library here, and these are your projects. You can actually create other files. So for example, you can create like a, let's say a DaVinci. DaVinci test. So I'll create this folder. And then what I can actually do is if I have a number of multiple projects sitting here, and then I can drag these projects into the folder. So it just means you've got another layer of organization within your DaVinci project library. It's useful whenever you start getting a lot of projects building up. For example, in this Instagram folder, I've got a lot of projects, a lot of things happening. It can start getting a little bit messy, a little bit all over the place. So this function within the manager allows you to create extra folders and organize your projects.